Today we will look into the design of the chain drive. Let us look into the question. A chain drive is required to transmit 7.5 kW. The shaft is rotating with a speed of 960 rpm. The reduction ratio is 3.15. The drive operates 14 to 16 hours with mild shocks. It provides drop lubrication. Design the chain drive and also find out the actual factor of safety. So this is the question and let us try to answer it. There are certain given data like power is given as 7.5 kW, speed is 960 rpm, reduction ratio. We would be interested to find out the design power. Now the design power is the power given in the question multiplies by the service factor which is represented by Ks. Now this is the layout diagram of the chain drive. Now what you see here to the left hand side is the driving sprocket. The number of teeth on the driving sprocket are less. To the right we have the driven sprocket and the number of teeth on the driven sprocket is much more. Small d1 is the diameter of the driving sprocket and small d2 is the diameter of the driven sprocket. The whole system is rotating in a clockwise direction. The center to center distance is represented by a, small a. These are some of the terminologies. So let us try to calculate the service factor. The service factor Ks is equal to K1, K2, K3, K4, K5 and K6. It consists of different parameters that need to be considered. K1 is the load factor. For variable load or loads with mild shock, K1 is 1.25 and this data regarding this is given in 7.76. So it can be mild shock, medium shock or heavy shock. So uh, factors and the values related to that is given in the design data book 7.76. K2 is the factor of distance regulation and uh, we have taken this factor as K2 is equal to 1. K3 is the factor for center distance of sprockets. Now what is the center to center distance is something what is we need to find out but the factor if you we assume here that the center to center distance would be around 30 to 50 multiplied by pitch. If the center distance lies between this particular value, the K3 factor can be taken as 1. Now K4 factor for the position of the sprocket. For inclination of the line joining the centers of the sprockets to the normal up to 60 degree. So if there is an inclination in the center to center points of the sprockets and the inclination is between 1 degree to 60 degree you can take K4 factor as 1. So data related to that is available in the design data book 7.77. Lubrication factor since it's a drop lubrication the factor is 1. Now rating factor how long the machine will work if the machine works 8 hours per day, the factor would be little different and if it works 16 hours per day, it would be 1.25. So as we have found out the different factors, we will substitute them and try to find out Ks. Ks is around 1.5625. Now since we know the service factor Ks, we can calculate the design factor which uh, design power which comes around 11.7187 kilowatt. After calculating the design power, we will try to calculate the number of teeth or on the sprocket, on the smaller sprocket and on the bigger sprocket. Now, in the design data book 7.74, they have said that if the reduction ratio is 3 to 4, then your number of teeth on the sprocket can be from 25 to 23. So there is a table given there. So since our 
ट्रांसमिशन रेशियो और रिडक्शन रेशियो इज क्लोज टू थ्री पॉइंट वन फाइव दैट इज क्लोज टू थ्री द जेड वन दैट इज नंबर ऑफ टीथ ऑन द स्मॉलेस्ट प्रॉकेट कैन बी टेकन एज ट्वेंटी फाइव नाउ द ट्रांसमिशन रेशियो आई इज गिवन सो वी कैन कैलकुलेट वॉट इज जेड टू जेड टू इज द नंबर ऑफ टीथ ऑन द ड्रिवन स्प्रॉकेट सो जेड टू इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी नाइन After calculating Z1 and Z2, we are very much interested to find out the pitch of the link of the chain drive. So the formula for the pitch is given as such, and it is the cube under root of m t by sigma b r z into m. This particular formula is not available in the design data book, hence you need to remember it. The p is as we know that is the pitch. M t is the torque. Sigma B R is the allowable bearing stress. Z is number of teeth, and M is the number of strands. Now the value of allowable bearing stress is given in the design data book with respect to the speed of rotation of small sprocket. If the small sprocket is rotating around thousand RPM, you can take Sigma B R as two point two four, which is given in the design data book. 7.77 now the power we know so from the power formula we can calculate the torque since we know the design power and the speed with which the smaller rocket is rotating that is 960 rpm the torque happens to be as 116.48 10 raised to 3 newton mm now once we have calculated the torque we can substitute the Known values into this equation. We know M T. We know sigma B R Z one. That is the number of teeth on the smallest rocket. M is the number of strand. So there are two unknowns here. P is unknown and M is unknown. So I will try to assume the values of M and then we can find out the corresponding values of pitch. number of strand means if it is a single strand i will say it is a simple chain if it is a two strand i will say it is duplex chain and if it has three strands i will say it is a triplex chain so now putting m is equal to 1 the pitch value comes around 16.59 when i put m is equal to 2 the pitch value comes as 13.17 when i put m is equal to 3 the pitch value comes as 11.505 hence we have three values of pitch it can be observed that as the pitch is in as the strands are increasing from 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 the pitch values are reducing and we know if we have a higher pitch a value of the pitch which is bigger then then the breaking load values are higher therefore we will be selecting a higher pitch that is 16.59 now 16.59 is not a standard value of pitch so from the psg 7.72 we will take a standard value of pitch that is 15.875 now we have to understand that if the pitch is 15.875 we can have this pitch with respect to the simple chain duplex chain and the triplex chain so the designer has the choice to have the pitch as 15.875 and take the number of strand as he wants now when we look into the selection of chain there are two types of chain bush chain and roller chain will be selecting roller chain since the breaking load capacity is much higher now when we have selected the roller chain there are three types of roller chain simplex chain duplex chain and triplex chain and simple simplex chain we understand that number of strands is 1 for duplex chain the number of strand is 2 and so we can find the rollen chain number from the design data book 7.72 Now Roland is the name of the company and the chain number is what they have given for that particular specific chain. 
we can have the pitch 15.875 for simplex chain duplex chain as well as triplex chain but the overall jo joint that is the space required that is the le in terms of length a1 is very much lesser for the simplex chain and higher big of the triplex chain so as it goes from one strand to two strand to three strand the length of the chain with respect to the three strand increases you can ob also observe that the breaking load capacity also increases with the number of strands hence by doing the trade off between space and breaking load we will select roland dr50 which is a duplex chain with a pitch of 15.875 now the standard value of the pitch given in the page number 7.72 is as follows for 15.875 mm pitch the breaking load is 4440 kgf the roller diameter is 10.16 mm weight per meter is 1.78 bearing area is 1.4 cm square now let us look into the construction of the duplex roller chain dr50 so as you can see in this particular figure the roller chain consists of five basic components the blue color thing is called as outer link plate and the green color part is called as inner link plate now one chain is connected to the other link and to the next link with the help of this link plates so the outer part of the link plate is called as outer link plate and the inner part of the link plate is called as the innermost link plate now the both the link plates and the roller as you can see to the left a roller is kept in the inner side of the link plates and the roller acts like a spacer so it does not allow the inner link plates to come and touch each other so this it acts like a spacer and certain space is maintained in between the inner link plates and that is the, the reason why the rollers are used now the inner link plates and the outer link plates are connected with each other with the component called as pin now the pin passes through a component called as bushing so bushing is present and the pin passes through the bushing and when it comes out from the other side of the chain you will see that or comes out from the bushing it is locked using a split pin so this is the construction of the duplex roller chain d3 is the diameter of the roller and b is small b is the space between the inner link plates and we know from one pin to another pin the distance is called as the pitch of the chain after understanding the construction of the duplex roller chain see if you can see here there are two strands this is called as one strand the upper one and the bottom one is called as the second strand so the duplex chain in this manner has two strands now you can see here the how the chains can be seen from the front view so you can see outermost thing which is of blue color is called as the outer link plate now we'll try to calculate the diameter of the driving sprocket d1 is the diameter of the driving sprocket and the formula is given in 7.78 when you substitute the value of z1 it comes around 126.66 mm similarly substituting z2 value will give us the diameter of the driven sprocket the velocity of the chain v can be calculated by the formula pi dn 
and when we try to divide it by 60 we will get it in terms of seconds so when we substitute the value of d and n1 we get velocity as 6.36 meters per second now factor of safety to find out the factor of safety there is a table that is given in 7.77 when the speed of the chain is 1000 rpm at that time the factor of safety will be 11 so for different speeds the factor of safety will be different the next is power transmitted on the basis of braking load now this particular formula is given in the page number 7.77 so we can find out the power transmitted based on the braking load Q is the that load braking load capacity that is coming from the properties of chain selection V is the velocity N is what we have found the factor of safety and KS is the service factor after we have substituted these values we get the value of N as 16.107 kilowatt so we get a higher power transmission for a given selected chain whereas required is only 11.718 and hence we get more than that is required the chain selected is safe with respect to power and transmission the next is with respect to the allowable bearing stress we know load is power upon velocity we know the load and the velocity hence we can calculate the load as 1.8 10 raised to 3 Newton we know that area is load upon Sigma BR we know what is the load we know what is sigma br hence area can be calculated so the minimum area required for the question given is 82.25 mm square but for the selected chain the area is 140 mm square hence we have more area than required selected chain can take up the bearing stress check for the actual factor of safety now actual factor of safety the formula is Q by summation P now the summation P consists of three types of forces PT is called as tangential force due to power transmission PC is called as centrifugal tension PS is called as tension due to sagging of the chain calculate the forces acting on the chain PT is 102 multiplied by power upon velocity which we know it comes around 187.81 kgf pc is the centrifugal tension so it is w multiplied by v square by g now g is here the acceleration due to gravitational pull which is 9.81 and the weight per meter is given in 1.78 hence the centrifugal tension pc is 7.339 kgf this the tension due to sagging is represented by PS and it is K multiplied by W multiplied by A so we know the factors for K is 6 for horizontal position of the chain we know the weight we know the center distance that is 40 times P so we know the pitch hence the center distance can be calculated which is an approximate center distance and hence PC can be calculated which is 6.78 kgf now the summation P becomes PT plus PC plus PS when they add them together it comes around 201.919 kgf now the actual factor of safety is the braking load upon summation P we know the braking load from the properties of the chain that we have selected and when we calculate it comes around 21.98 which is quite higher when we compare the required one that is n is equal to 11 hence the actual factor of safety the chain is safe length of the continuous chain in the multiples of pitch that is approximate number of links which is represented by small lp now LP is equal to 2 multiplied by AP Z1 plus Z2 by 2 plus Z2 minus Z1 upon 2 pi the whole square upon AP.
तो दिस पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मूला इज गिवन इन पी एच जी पेज नंबर सेवन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव हेंस वी नो वॉट इज ए पी दैट इज अप्रॉक्सीमेट सेंटर डिस्टेंस इन मल्टीपल्स ऑफ पिच एंड ए जीरो इज इनिशियली अज्यूम्ड सेंटर डिस्टेंस ऑल दिस फॉर्मूलाज आर मैंशनड एंड रिटर्न इन पेज नंबर सेवन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव पी एच जी डिजाइन डेटा बुक टू कैलकुलेट एल पी we know this particular formula hence we will substitute the values and try to find out the length of continuous chain that is approximate number of links so lp is equal to 133.84 so we can say approximately 134 links are required and each link has a pitch of as we have calculated here uh, 15.875 now we will try to find out the final center distance corrected to even number of pitches so you see the length we try to correct it in terms of 134 links so now the center distance has changed a little which we need to finally take care of so this particular formula e is equal to lp minus z1 plus z2 upon 2 is given in the design data book we know lp and z1 and z2 so e factor comes around 82 mm m is another factor and we can substitute the values and this is this formula is given in 7.75 hence it comes around 73.86 mm so there are two factors here e and m now we know that e and m values are calculated to find out the final center distance we will put the values of e and m in this particular formula which is given in page number 7.75 and when we substitute the value of e and m and multiply the whole thing with the pitch we'll get the final center distance as 636.247 mm now the length of the chain can be calculated so the final length of the chain is lp into pitch that is number of links multiplied by the pitch now we know that center distance allowance to accommodate the initial chain sag so there has to be given some allowance to accommodate the initial chain sag which is represented by delta so the formula is given in the design data book page number 7.75 and it is delta is equal to 0.5 f now f is a factor which is 0.02 multiplied by a that is the exact center distance we know the exact center distance hence the allowance should be 6.36 mm once we have found out this particular parameter the next percentage speed variation now percentage speed variation is given by v max minus v minimum upon v and this particular formula is not there in design data book you can find this in vb bhandari so we can again reduce this particular v max by v, v minimum into upon v into this particular equation and we can substitute the value of z1 and try to find out what is the percentage or speed variation so when you uh, substitute z1 finally we get the speed variation as 0.79% up to this point we can say that we have completed the chain drive